A white van pulls up and two disguised men get out and abduct Lisa. When she's finally released, she has been chained up like a dog in a cubicle. She is being watched by a guard, but he quickly vanishes. A scientist puts down a bowl of food for her and she tries to talk, but the scientist says no in a stern voice. When she asks about going to the bathroom, she is pointed to a hole in the ground. Lisa sniffs at the food, but chooses not to eat. She sleeps on a blanket and is observed on a security camera. She is given breakfast, but when it is found that she didn't eat her dinner, he takes both meals away. She asks him to come back, assuring him that she will eat, but it's to no avail. Later, more food arrives, but is placed just out of reach. Eventually, she reaches the bowl with her foot and hungrily eats. She can hear a man calling out and she shouts hello. The lights go out, so she empties the remaining food onto the floor and uses the bowl to bang on the wall, but she suddenly passes out. A man's voice calls out, hello. As breakfast is delivered, the man says that naughty dogs don't get breakfast. He tries to kick Lisa awake and on a computer, someone is typing up a progress report. Lisa wakes with a startle and she's hosed down. She demands to know what the people want from her. The report states that she's disobedient, so they upgrade her to a choke collar. Soon after, she's taken outside and told to be good and walk only. Lisa runs and she's punished through the collar and called a bad dog. The report states that her aggression is increasing and to introduce subject 5399. She wakes to the voice of a man named Adam. He tells her that he has been there for some days now and there are other cells like theirs. He tells her that he doesn't plan on staying around long enough to find out what is going to happen to them. Food is put down for them, but Adam tells her not to eat as it makes them hallucinate. She tells him that he should eat as he is only making himself weaker. The guard tasers them both for Adam's insubordination. When Lisa wakes, she finds that she's been moved. She calls out to Adam, but her ex-boyfriend appears at the door. He is clubbed over the head by a guard and her collar is activated to knock her out. When she wakes, she's back in a cubicle, but now closer to Adam. Food is brought in and they both eat. As they eat, they start to fall asleep and Lisa dreams about spending her life with Adam. When they wake, they feel better and say that it's the best that they have both slept. Adam asks her to check his pupils for dilation and they discover that they are now in neighboring cubicles. He whispers that now they can plot their escape. Lisa says that the first thing is to get the collars off. Adam looks at her collar and tells her that he's glad that they are there together. They promise that when they get out, they'll find the people that did this to them. The guard appears and instructs them not to touch and Adam recoils. He tells Lisa to go to sleep as they don't want to be separated. Lisa calls out to Adam and the guard punishes her by activating the collar. The report recognizes Lisa as the dominant subject. The next day as breakfast is delivered, Adam overpowers the scientist and knocks her out. He takes her keys and releases his chains. Lisa tells him that they will never get out, but he tells her to trust him. She stands up and knocks him out. She looks at the cameras as the guards enter. Soon after, she's sitting in a room watching Adam on the camera. In walks Erica, the scientist and a guy named George, who accuses her of trying to make things difficult. Lisa says that she thought that she had everything under control, but things progressed too quickly. Lisa is complicit in the experiments, which seem to be a university project. They know that Dr. Fisher will be furious if she finds out that they have been experimenting outside the predetermined parameters. Suddenly, the telephone rings. George informs Dr. Fisher that the power is down and that is why the cameras have gone off. Lisa asks to be put back in with Adam. She is told that all the other rooms are fine. Theirs is the only problem. Lisa's return to the cubicle and the cameras are put back on. Lisa wakes Adam and convinces him that he was hallucinating about the escape. The lights go out and they go to sleep. Adam and Lisa are out in the yard. Adam reveals that he studied animal behavior and realizes the parallels with what is happening to them. Lisa tells him that if she had had enough, she would try and take out as many of the guards as she could. He accuses her of being predictable, so she convinces him to hop the fence with her. Their collars are activated and Lisa falls to the ground. Adam turns back towards her and also collapses. Adam awakens on a hospital trolley. A guard is looming over him and injects him with a solution that makes him hallucinate. George then goes to inject Lisa, who also has a hallucination. George returns to the camera room, but Erica is suspicious of where he's been. 
she also notices that the East Wing cameras are offline. Once he leaves, she finds that Adam and Lisa are missing, and so he heads to the East Wing, where she soon discovers Lisa. In her hallucinatory state, Lisa screams, but Erica has them return to their cubicles. Erica finishes a call to Dr. Fisher just as George returns. He is disturbed to find out that Fisher is on her way. Fisher bursts in and demands that Lisa be pulled out of the experiment. Erica pushes Lisa down the corridor in a wheelchair. Dr. Fisher sits down to examine her and injects her with a burst of adrenaline. Fisher then switches off the cameras remotely and starts to question her. She demands to know why there are no medical or release forms for Adam. Fisher threatens to shut the project down and realizes that Adam is not a willing participant. Fisher realizes that Lisa is an imposter and Lisa hops up and strangles her. She then locks her in a freezer. As George and Erica argue, they notice Lisa waving on the camera. She convinces them that Fisher agreed to let her continue. Lisa takes a key with her and is returned to her cubicle. Erica decides to call Fisher again, but George stops her and takes her phone while he does the rounds. Adam is now awake. Lisa tells Adam to think of a happy memory. George reviews the camera footage and sees Lisa is hiding Fisher's tablet. He retrieves it, but is unaware that Erica is watching. George then goes to the freezer where he finds Fisher calling for help. He tells her that he will do anything for Lisa and kills Fisher. Erica tries to leave the facility, but is followed by George. When she realizes that she can't get out without the camera seeing her, she switches off the power. Afterwards, she discovers Fisher's body in the freezer. Lisa and Adam hear her scream. Lisa uses the key to unlock her chains and then releases Adam. She tells him that the cameras are off and this is their chance to escape. George has joined Erica and tells her that Lisa did this. Erica wants to call the police, but George sedates her and then switches the power back on. He returns to the camera room and observes Lisa and Adam escaping. He activates the collars and they both collapse. Erica and Adam both wake in a room together. She tries to explain to him what they're doing. She also explains that Lisa saw him one year ago and has been fixated on him ever since, so she dragged him into this experiment. He starts to believe her. Lisa's watching, tied up in the camera room, and is angry that Erica is ruining everything. George mocks her from behind and asks why she can't just let Adam go. He then wheels her into another set of cubicles where all her ex-boyfriends and anyone that has ever treated her badly have been chained up. George also reveals that some also know her by different names. It seems that George actually fancies Lisa and says he'll do anything for her. He shows her that he killed Fisher and says that they did it together. He then takes her in with Adam and Erica. George hands Lisa a tablet and offers her the choice to activate one of their collars. Adam accuses her of being crazy as Erica tells her that Fisher was right about her. Lisa tries to activate Erica's collar, but the button actually activates Adam's instead. She is unable to deactivate and begs George to stop. She offers to give herself to George, so he deactivates Adam's collar. Erica calls him a lunatic, and so he activates her collar. George reveals to Lisa that he took advantage of her while she was anesthetized. She tells him that she will run away with him if he deactivates the collars. He doesn't believe her and walks away before deactivating the collars. However, he soon returns and hands her the tablet. It has a button that says, finish the game. He makes her press it, and she can see the room of prisoners wearing collars which are activated. She then scrolls through the tablet and activates her own collar before smashing the tablet. George removes Lisa's collar to save her, but she then attacks him and releases Erica. They escape together. George follows, and they hide in the cubicles. All the prisoners have been killed. Lisa distracts George so that Erica can escape. He follows her and is about to kill her when Erica knocks him out. When he comes round, they have fitted a collar to his neck and kill him with this and an imaginative use of a taser. Erica tells Lisa how she couldn't leave her friend, but Lisa turns around and hits her, knocking Erica to the ground. Lisa burns the building down and assumes Erica's identity to continue her crazy life. If you want to watch more on Movie Shortens, click on our next videos and playlists on the screen. Thanks for watching.